I've done other videos on how to lower nitrates. One is carbon dosing, and that's where you put a little bit of sugar in your aquarium, just table sugar, because sugar feeds bacteria, and that bacteria feeds on nitrates. As an example, you have to have a protein skimmer to get that stuff out of your aquarium, so then you've got to get that dead nitrate, I'll just say for simplistic terms, out of your aquarium. You do that through a protein skimmer or water changes, okay? But you can also get rid of nitrates with a refugium, and that's where you put Kato, Kato, Chieto, people pronounce it different ways, a little ball of it, and then you put a light on it, preferably red light, and it grows it. Along with the red light, what also grows it is nitrates. So it's gonna grow larger and larger in your sump and you break off pieces of it and get rid of it. So that helps to lower the nitrates. While that's feeding on the nitrates, there's less nitrates in your aquarium, so the algae doesn't grow in your aquarium. So you're battling algae with algae. And how does that work? Why does it not grow in your saltwater main tank when, and it only grows in your refugium? Well, that's simple. You limit the feeding in your aquarium, so there's less food to break down and less fish waste. Second, you have a lighting schedule that's not too long. I only keep my lighting on in the main tank for about six hours a day average. But in the sump, I've got a red refugium light growing on where the Kato would be. So you are growing it and the red light amplifies that growth. You can have a refugium with a Kato, Shado, or you can have an algae scrubber. And an algae scrubber is basically where the algae, the green slime and the hair algae grows in another place besides your main aquarium where your fish and your rock and your sand and your coral are. How do you do that? Well, you shine the light in a part of your sump below the aquarium in one of the chambers in your sump and you can add the Kato in there to grow that or you can get this at the fabric store. It costs two dollars. You guys have all seen this. It's for I think like knitting or crocheting. You know what I'm talking about. People make DIY algae scrubbers and basically they get some PVC and in the form of a U they attach it and then they cut a slit at the bottom of the PVC and pump water through the PVC and through that slit water comes out and they attach this up into the slit with zip ties so water runs over this and the light shines on this in your sump. Well that's what I'm going to do and after a few weeks you're going to get all this green mossy algae on here that's feeding on the nitrates in your aquarium. So your nitrate levels are going to go lower, which is healthier for your corals and your fish and your tank in general. I've been doing sugar dosing and that works extremely well. I put like a tablespoon in the sump daily in my hundred, for my 125 gallon, but I'm going to try the algae scrubber and we'll see how it goes. We'll see how long I can deal with it. Cause you know, every few weeks you're going to clean it off. Not perfectly, but you're going to clean most of it off and then leave the basic stuff on there so it can continue to seed and feed on the nitrates in your aquarium. It's important to test for nitrates because you don't want to go lower than like three ppm parts per million. You want to stick around five. Um, mine have always been a lot higher and I have to keep them down with sugar dosing. A lot of people use vodka as well, but sugar is a lot cheaper and it works great. Regular table sugar, attach it to a PVC and have a pump that pumps water from the sump that trickles down like a waterfall over this. Why do that? Why? What I'm gonna do is just cut this to size and I'm gonna place it in my sump and shine the light on it because I was doing something a little different and the light was spilling over into the chamber to the left where the protein skimmer was and I was having green algae grow a little bit inside the skimmer cone. So why, why do you, why? Can you let me know, put in the comments, why do you need to build this contraption? It'll take maybe an hour or two um, and then attach this to that and have water running over this. Why not just submerge this in your sump and shine a light on it? I'll give you guys an update in a few weeks. 
look out for that video and we'll see how it goes. Also, in the first comment as well of this video, I'm going to put a link to the LED light that I bought to grow the algae in the sump. It's awesome. It's by Innovative Marine, a huge name in the aquarium industry. I love those guys and I love this light. It's powerful. It's only eight watts and it's it's bright and it grows algae really well. And Kiedo, if you want to do that as a refugium. But you know what? I looked around online for Kiedo and it's like $40 for the size of a small baseball. I tried it once and it just died. And I saw in the comments from a leading uh, vendor of this stuff that um, a third of the comments say, it dies within a week, it dies within a week. I'm not gonna spend the money on that. Um, I'm starting to watch money more now and um, I'm just going to start simple. I'm going to toss this in the sump and have it grow and that'll keep the nitrates down moving forward. Sugar dosing is fine, but I just want to try this and see how it goes and I'll keep you guys posted. All right. Thanks and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.